The Doro rises, serene and majestic. Here, the land demands dedication and commitment. Generations of hard-working people have shaped this landscape. Its extraordinary beauty leaves few unmoved. The story of Graham's is part of the history of this great region. In 1820, two Scottish brothers, William and John Graham, resolved to become producers of fine port wines and founded W and J Graham and Co. Their inspiration was drawn from the unique wines made on the stone terraced vineyards of the Alto Doro, from a landscape that astonished and captivated them. In 1890, Graham's bought Quintados Malvedos, becoming one of the first port companies to invest in vineyards in the Alto Doro. Also in that same year, Graham's built a new port lodge in Villa Nova de Gaia, constructed on a magnificent scale to match the quality of the wines. The company grew through the 19th century, building a fine reputation. When the weather conditions were good, wonderful harvests occurred. In these years, Graham's achieved extraordinary quality and its vintage ports became legendary and are landmarks in the history of the wine. Meanwhile, in 1882, another young Scot, 19-year-old Andrew James Symington, arrived in Portugal to work at Graham's. A few years later, Andrew met Beatrice Leto de Carvalhosa Atkinson. A meeting of lives sealed in marriage. Beatrice's family had close links with Port and the Doro. Her grandfather, father and uncle were Port producers, whilst on her mother's side, Beatrice was descended through nine generations of Port producers, from Walter Maynard, a wine merchant and English consul in Porto in 1659. Records in the city archives show that Maynard exported 39 pipes of port in 1652, making him one of the first English merchants in the history of this great wine. Andrew Symington left Graham's a few years later after his arrival in Oporto to set up as a port wine producer on his own. But in 1970, the family's connection to Graham's came full circle when Andrew and Beatrice's grandsons, Michael, Ian, James and Peter, acquired W and J Graham and Co. Today, the company is flourishing and the journey that began over 350 years ago and spans 14 generations of port producers continues. The Symington family in Portugal today is descended from the marriage of Andrew and Beatrice, a union that brought together a wealth of knowledge, tradition and experience in the port trade. This is Quinta dos Malvedos. Here lies the heart of Graham's port wines. In the Alto Douro, the southern sun warms the earth and the cold winter rains seep deep into the rocky soil. Far below, the Doro and Tua rivers come into view. Climate and soil combine at Malvedos to create an incomparable terroir, which leaves its mark on the style of this great vineyard's wines. The steep hillsides, very hot summers and bitterly cold winters all combine to create an ideal environment for growing quality grapes. Various indigenous Portuguese grape varieties are planted at Malvedos. Each has been carefully selected to match the soils, altitude and aspect of each part of the Quinta. The rich and aromatic Turiga Franca, the beautifully elegant Turiga Nacional, the structured Tinta Barroca, 
the long aging Tinta Joriz and the scented Tinta Amarela. This is Graham's principal vineyard and is at the heart of its greatest ports. But Malvedos is not alone. Quinta do Tua adjoins Malvedos, facing it from just across the Tua River, and was bought by Graham's in 2006. This is one of the Douro's historic vineyards, with a lovely estate house in the classic Portuguese style. Tua's 18th century stone terraces, broad and solid, support some of the Douro's finest vineyards. Facing due west, the wines from this estate produce dark, concentrated wines of extraordinary quality. Quinta das Lages, located in the famous Rio Torto Valley, has enjoyed close links with Graham's for over a century, during which time the company has always purchased the vineyard's very fine grapes. Privately owned by members of the Symington family, Quinta do Val de Maiades in the remote Douro Superior and Quinta de Villa Vea, just downriver from Malvedos, are two other estates which also provide grapes for Graham's port. Graham's vineyards are beautifully situated and produce exceptional quality. The Douro is a region of complex terroirs and each of these fine vineyards makes its own individual style of wine crucial to achieving the elegance and complexity of all Graham's ports. This is the largest area of mountain vineyard in the world and the vine yields are amongst the lowest of any wine region. Planting and tending vines in the Douro is challenging. The stony intractable soils require great energy and effort. Each vineyard needs individual care. None is the same as its neighbor, and each specific needs are carefully assessed. Aspect, altitude, grape variety, type of pruning, age of the vines, and many other variables all need to be taken into account in order to get the best from the soil and to make the greatest wines. In the Doro, nothing can be achieved without hard work, without experience, and a deep understanding of the soil. At harvest time, the days start early. The vineyard slopes are steep and all picking is done by hand. But nothing detracts from the importance of delivering the grapes to the wineries. This is a good time. The work of 12 months in the vineyard is coming to fruition. Even after a hard day's work, smiles come naturally. In the evening, it is time to regain energy. The lagar, full from the day's pickings, needs to be trodden. The bare foot gently squeezes the skins, bringing color and flavors into the wine. Man and nature come together in a ritual almost as old as time. The search for excellence has led Graham's to pioneer the introduction of modern winemaking. Here, the Graham's winemakers make port as in the historic way, but without requiring people to tread many hours every evening, giving more flexibility as treading can be done at any time through the night when our people are tired and asleep in their beds. Time to pause. The young wines need a rest from the intense activity of the harvest. The first winter is spent in the tranquility of the Doro, close to the wine's birthplace. After the cold winter has played its part in helping the wine to fall bright, it is time to ship it downriver to Villanova de Gaia, where ideal conditions exist for the wine's aging and further development. Samples are drawn off and made ready to be taken to the tasting room, where they are closely appraised and their future is decided. Here, the aromas and the flavors are carefully judged by the expert tasters and master blenders. Instructions are given to the cellar master and to his team. Each wine is allocated its specific place in seasoned oak casks or oak vats. Graham's believes in the best of tradition 
and is the only company to maintain a full team of coopers. These are skilled craftsmen who repair and maintain all the casks in which the Graham's wines are aged. Seasoned oak is crucial to the creation of great port wines. Each one of these oak pipes is a witness to the passage of time under the ancient Baltic pine beams of the Graham's 1890 Lodge. Many of these casks are more than 100 years old. Excellence requires experience. Everybody who works at Graham's respects tradition. The experience of centuries in making great wines is an invaluable guide for the future. Graham's began as the vision of two brothers and developed over nearly 200 years. The story of this great port company continues with the vision and commitment of a family has been closely associated to the Doro for more than 300 years. The current guardians of these centuries of tradition are Paul, Johnny, Rupert, Dominic and Charles Semington. They live in Oporto and in the Doro, dedicating their time, like their forefathers, to the making of great port wines. Working alongside a skilled team of people, many of them with long family connections to the company and to its vineyards. From the beautiful vineyards of the Doro to the historic cellars of the Villa Nova de Gaia, Graham's is the symbol of a great legacy because the people who work at Graham's respect the past, accept the challenges of the present, and raise a toast to the future. <laughs>